Chapter 3103 Flower Pupils Manifest That person was too fast, his afterimage still remained in his original location as his blade slashed down on by Zyol, with a splash of blood, by Zyol's body was cut apart. However, his cut apart body then slowly faded, it was also an afterimage. By Zyol appeared in the air, however, he was in a panicked state, his chest was dyed red with blood. Not good, due to his fear, the effectiveness of his spatial arts has sharply dropped, said Luo Xue. Bai Ziaol's spatial arts could be said to be one of the most exquisite of all divine abilities, it was very difficult to track his body, but due to his fear, his spirit was suppressed, creating flaws in his mental state, furthermore, his opponent's mental lock was very effective, it could be said that Bai Ziaol had already lost. This person has definitely investigated Zayol's experiences and techniques. He started off leaking his killing intent precisely because Zayol lacks experience, said Lu Mingxuan. In the Nine Prefecture competition, many people relied on selling information on other competitors in order to make money. Hence, learning about Bai Zayol's past was no difficult task. This person was clearly taking advantage of Bai Zayol's lack of experience. He wanted to kill Bai Ziaol in just a few moves and had almost taken his life right at the start. That person once more moved. This time, they saw a line of afterimages wherever he passed. He was truly fast. Bai Ziaol was pale. He formed hand seals and his body vanished. That person's blade touched nothing more than air, but he then spun and charged in another direction, slashing his blade again. That was where Bai Ziaol had just appeared. Bai Ziaol once more formed ant seals, vanishing, however, no matter how he dodged, that person was able to accurately find his location. That person had locked onto Bai Ziaol, no matter where he fled, he would be sensed. That person attacked 19 times, and Bai Ziaol dodged 19 times, on the 19th time, his blade just narrowly passed by Bai Ziaol's waist, almost bisecting him. Luo Ning and the others cried out in shock. Not good. Ziaol's movement art and dodging rhythm have been completely grasped by his opponent. He has started to predict where Ziaol will appear, said young master Chan Chuan gravely. He could tell that this person's last attack had almost landed because he had predicted where Bai Ziaol would appear. He had seen through Bai Ziaol's movements. To be able to grasp his moves in such a short time, this person was definitely an expert. As Bai Ziaol was barely dodging and didn't even have the ability to counter attack, he would quickly be defeated. After all, he lacked experience. When his opponent had fully grasped his moves, he might not even have a chance to admit defeat. With the martial stage protected by a barrier, none of their voices could reach Bai Ziaol. They could only watch nervously. Golden runes even occasionally flashed within Bai Shishi's hands. Clearly, she was not as indifferent as she showed on the surface. After three more slashes, that person suddenly swept out his blade horizontally right where a figure was appearing. Die! This time, it was not an afterimage. When they saw that figure be cut in two, Luo Ning and the others cried out. However, they quickly realized that there was no blood. As it fell apart, they realized that what was cut apart was nothing more than a set of ropes. That expert was also startled. He had deduced that Bai Ziaol would appear here. He had completely grasped the rhythm of his movement art. Pow. Just then, a hand appeared out of midair and slapped his face, emitting a crisp and clear sound. After that, Bai Ziaol's figure slowly appeared. Bai Ziaol had actually slapped that person in the face. However, his power wasn't great enough, and all he did was make his opponent's face turn. He didn't cause any substantial damage. Bai Ziaol borrowed the impact of the slap to retreat. He then pointed at that person and laughed. Ha ha ha, little fellow, you were fooled, weren't you? Do you take me for a fool? My spatial art is an innate divine ability, and I'm not restricted by space. Do you think this is like one of those acquired formation spatial arts that requires a set pattern? Ha ha ha, you're too naive. Seeing that person's stunned expression, Bai Ziao laughed like a child, that arrogant display stunned everyone, this sudden turn came out of nowhere, they had just been afraid of Bai Ziao being killed, 
But now he had actually learned how to face slap people like Long Chen. Courting death, as that person roared furiously, divine light exploded behind him. He had been conserving his power this entire time, wanting to kill Bai Ziao with the smallest price. But instead, he was toyed with and slapped. He was so angry that he almost coughed up blood. Ha ha ha, come, catch me if you can. If you can't, then we'll both be eliminated together. You slashed me once, and I slapped you once. We're even, Bai Ziao laughed and then vanished. Enraged, that person chased after Bai Ziao, but Bai Ziao repeatedly used his spatial arts, dodging his saber. His saber was never able to touch him again. Furthermore, Bai Ziao was constantly provoking him, occasionally reminding him that time was already up. It really seemed like he was intent on eliminating this person from the competition. Now, this person was so angry that his face was green. What did you teach him? Bai Shishi turned to Qin Feng. Qin Feng smiled. It was nothing. I just told him that a heart of fear is the worst thing to have and that he had to think of a way to face it. He has to face his difficulties head on, not dodge them. The more afraid he is, the more he has to face it directly. There is no shortcut to becoming an expert but there is a technique. Right now, you've also seen the technique. It was very effective. One slap directly shattered his fear. Now everyone understood. In order to overcome his fear, Bai Ziol had intentionally set up a trap. That person had fallen for it and had been slapped. And with that one success, Bai Ziol's confidence soared and his fear faded. That person was no longer able to lock onto him. As he furiously chased Bai Ziol, Bai Ziol caused space to fold. He was completely unable to touch him. Brat, do you only know how to dodge? If you have guts, face me directly. That person came to a stop and pointed his blade in the air. All right then. Bai Ziol's figure suddenly stopped as well, and three pupils appeared in each of his eyes. When the three flower pupils appeared, a forbidden energy swelled and filled heaven and earth. Chapter 3101 Chu Gone That person was shocked to find that heaven and earth had been split into three levels. Space-time was severed, and time was no longer flowing normally. It felt as if he had provoked the entire world. In front of that power, he was as weak as an ant. As for Long Chen and the others, what they saw was three giant spheres of light appearing on the martial stage. The place where those three spheres overlapped was precisely where that person was. As the three spheres of light revolved, heaven and earth changed color, and space twisted chaotically. It was as if the world had folded on itself and was overlapping. This bizarre sight caused countless expressions to change. They had never seen such a terrifying phenomenon before. What kind of magical art is that? Space-time is in chaos. Time is overlapping. This is absolutely terrifying. Everyone stared in shock. Bai Ziol's opponent seemed to be struggling, but his movements were strange in their eyes. Sometimes he would be moving fast, sometimes he would be moving slow, and sometimes multiple images of him would appear. He was like a fly caught in a spider web, and no matter how he struggled, he was unable to escape. At this moment, Bai Ziol's hand seals were constantly changing, and the light in his eyes shone brightly. Meanwhile, the entire martial stage was shuddering. It began to crack, on the verge of collapse. Suddenly, everything came to a pause as the space inside the three spheres froze. Bai Ziol's opponent was unable to even move now. He was shocked. Before this, he had at least been able to struggle. But now, space was pressing down on him from all directions. Even blinking his eyes was difficult. Do you admit defeat? Blink twice and I'll count it as giving up, then I'll let you go, said Bai Ziol. Not good. As soon as he said this, everyone, including Bai Shishi, cried out. Bai Ziol's opponent had clearly lost, and with great difficulty, he blinked twice. Seeing this, Bai Ziol laughed and the three spheres of light slowly came undone. The spatial power faded. Die! Just as Bai Ziol's spatial energy loosened, that person roared furiously. Free from the bindings, he slashed his blade at Bai Ziol's head as quick as lightning. 
Having not expected this person to go back on his word, Baizaiol had no time to dodge. Hence, a sensation of death filled him. However, just as his opponent was about to kill him, the three flower pupils that had just faded instantly condensed once more. A ray of black light then shot out, piercing that person's head and killing him. Baizaiol was bewildered. He didn't even know what had just happened. His three flower pupils had activated automatically. Bai Ziyo was sent back out. After that, Chin Feng angrily rebuked him, You fool, you actually had mercy on such a person. If it wasn't for boss, you'd be dead. At this time, three spheres of light slowly faded from within Long Chen's eyes. Only then did Bai Ziyo and the others understand. Long Chen's three flower pupils were connected to Bai Ziyo's, and it was Long Chen who had taken control of Bai Ziyo's three flower pupils at the last moment. This mysterious energy was actually able to work even through the formation. Everyone was still covered in cold sweat from that last moment. It had truly been dangerous. I was wrong, Bai Ziyo lowered his head. What people didn't expect was for the strict Long Chen to not criticize him. Instead, he patted him on the shoulder. Being wrong isn't something to be afraid of, as long as you know where you were wrong and don't make such a mistake again. Growth is the result of constantly making mistakes. When you make a mistake, you pay a price, and that's what makes you learn the lesson. This isn't your fault. You have always been in the academy with people protecting you, so you don't know the wickedness of other people's hearts. Remember, killing people sometimes isn't the result of right or wrong, good or evil. It is simply because the other side wants to take your life, and if you want to live, you have to kill them. Unless of course, you are so good and kind that you are willing to give up your own life for your opponent. People do need to have kindness in their hearts, but that also depends on who the target is. A person like that has accumulated a resentment of who knows how many innocent souls. Your kindness toward them is foolishness. Boss, I understand. I won't be so foolish again, said Bai Ziyol. Long Chen had dragged him back from the border of death, letting him understand just how foolish his actions just now were. Within the guilt and shame, for the first time, Bai Ziyol encountered the wickedness of the hearts of people. Long Chen nodded. Although Bai Ziyol had constantly been beaten as a child, his life had never been in danger. This lesson was definitely a good one for him. The reason Long Chen dared to have Bai Ziyol attend the Martial Dao Convention despite the latter's lack of experience was because their three flower pupils were connected. Hence, Long Chen had the ability to protect him. Furthermore, he found that when he activated the three flower pupils through Bai Ziyol, he was easily able to control his power. But when he used the three flower pupils himself, it would draw out the power of the purgatory eyes. Why that was the case was something he had yet to comprehend. It was no problem for him to help Bai Ziyol, but using them himself caused a huge backlash. Qin Feng also didn't say anything else since Bai Ziyol had accepted his mistake. But the Dragonblood warriors were all straightforward men, and so he was unable to say any comforting words to Bai Ziyol. It was Lu Oshua and the others who consoled Bai Ziyol, letting him feel a bit better. Bai Ziyol had followed Qin Feng's pointers at the start. The more afraid he was, the more he had to face his opponent directly. It was because the later battles would only be more intense, and there was no time to take things step by step. The face slap was also suggested by Qin Feng. Bai Ziyol had done very well, and Chen Feng's vision was also very sharp. He had calculated that person's character and knew that this person would be enraged if Bai Ziyol seemed to stall until they were both eliminated. The anger was enough distraction for Bai Ziyol to find a chance to activate the three flower pupils. Against ordinary experts, Bai Ziyol's three flower pupils were more than enough, but against peak experts, in a battle where the blink of an eye spelled death, he still didn't have enough control over his three flower pupils to lock down his opponents. That was why Qin Feng had told him that he had to create an opportunity for himself. Even though there had been a mistake in the end, overall, Bai Ziyol had managed to overcome his fear of death in this battle. He had taken a huge step toward the ranks of peak experts. Although he lacked experience, his three flower pupils were truly powerful. He was entirely capable of standing shoulder to shoulder with primals. Next was young master Cheng Chuan. His opponent was powerful, but after a few dozen exchanges, 
he was unable to even force young Master Chang Chuan to use his manifestation. Hence, he directly admitted defeat. Young Master Chang Chuan still obtained victory easily. Next was Long Chen, and Luo Xue warned him to be careful. Long Chen smiled. I would be careful toward others, but I have no need to be careful against the Chu family's people. Long Chen was sent into the martial stage. His opponent at least wasn't as ugly as the last member from the Chu family. Gazing at Chu Gong disdainfully, Long Chen smiled. That smile was very evil, very sinister, and very chilling. Chapter 3102 Chu Family's Four Heroes Long Chen, with death at hand, you can still smile, will I be seeing how you cry in a bit? Chu Gun sneered at Long Chen's smile. Your Chu family really is interesting. Ever since I entered the High Firmament Academy, you've been fighting to the death against me. Even though your teeth are scattered on the ground, you still manage to spout such big words with no sense of shame. Do you not feel that what's coming out of your mouth is nothing more than empty air? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. Idiot. Our Chu family has been enemies with the Luo family for generations. You are standing on their side, so you have become our undying enemy. This time, even our Chu family's four heavenly geniuses have taken action, not to obtain the rewards but to kill you here, snorted Chu Gon. Not for the reward? That's because you can't obtain it. I really wonder, how is it that there is such a huge difference between your two families despite both being such large families? Just look at the names of the experts attending. The Luo family sent Luo Qing, Luo Xue, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning. Together, it's Qing, Xue, Bing, Ning, meaning clear as ice and clean as jade. Their names are a family lesson, to have them protect their bodies like jade and not be touched by dust. But then look at your Chu family's four heroes, Chu Gon, Chu Ren, Chu Zhen, and Chu Shuang. Together, it's Gon, Ren, Zhen, Shuang. Just how vile and dirty is that? There must be something wrong with your heads, said Long Chen, one. Bai Shishi and the others left, along with everyone else paying attention to their fight. As the champion of the Tao discussion convention, countless people were paying attention to him, but his mouth was truly skilled. People were paying attention to him due to the principles he had stated on the Tao discussion stage, and they wanted to see if his fists were as powerful as his words. As a result, countless people were laughing, and those that weren't paying attention were quickly told what had happened and they laughed as well. Luo Ning and Lu Ming Xuan were the most exaggerated. Seeing Chu gone green with fury, tears even came out of their eyes. Long Chen had actually linked their names together. Chu Gun was quivering with rage, his eyes scarlet. He seemed like a provoked beast. Long Chen, you've succeeded in infuriating me. Chu Gen's voice came from the cracks between his teeth. So what? What can you do other than bark like a dog? Your Chu family wouldn't even be able to compete against the Luo family if it wasn't for becoming someone else's dog. You might be used to being a dog, but you should remember that not everyone in this world is afraid of dogs nor is everyone afraid of the dog's owner. For example, me. No matter whose dog you are, if you bare your teeth at me, I'll still knock those teeth out, sneered Long Chen. Whether it was because of the Chu family's enmity with his mother's family, or his own miserable days that were the result of Lord Brahma's dogs, Long Chen had no courtesy for these people. However, the Chu family didn't know that Long Chen's enmity with them was truly one with no rest until death. Just at this moment, the martial stage shook, the sign that the fight was about to commence. Long Chen, you have guts. Then let us swear to fight to the death, turning this competition into a death match. Chu Gan roared and his blood chi erupted. Contained within it was terrifying flame energy. After that, a divine statue appeared behind him, causing sacred might to descend upon this world. Even the martial stage's formation was unable to block it. Chu Gun had summoned his primal manifestation, and it was like he was possessed by a god. Up until now, no one had yet to unleash such power on the martial stage. Even the spectators, protected by the formation and at a great distance, felt as if his gaze could turn them to dust. That feeling was terrifying. Hence, everyone's smile vanished, replaced with shock. Was this the true power of a primal? Luo Bing and the others couldn't help being worried. 
Although they knew that Long Chen was powerful, he wasn't a primal. How was he supposed to block this pressure of the heavenly deos? However, Long Chen's expression was calm. A divine ring slowly appeared behind him. Seeing it, the Kam Chin Feng was finally moved. Finally, I get to see Bosch fight again. The seven-colored divine ring behind Long Chen spun, but in reality, only six colors were moving. One was static, because it was only there to cover up that this was a six-color divine ring. Long Chen's own divine ring cast him in a sacred light. Although his black robes were in tatters, it didn't affect that wild arrogance that looked down on the rest of the world. Long Chen gave off a very steady feeling, as if even if the heavens collapsed, he would raise them, as if there was nothing in this world that he couldn't do. As his divine ring spun, no terrifying manifestation burst into existence, nor did an incredible aura erupt. But for some reason, rather than Chu Gan whose aura was bursting out like a volcano, it was the Kam Long Chen that gave people the more terrifying feeling. Just at that moment, the barrier separating them vanished and Chu Gan's aura condensed to the peak. He shot out like a bolt of lightning, appearing in front of Long Chen in an instant. I heard that you specialize in power. Then I'll defeat you in your strongest area so that you're fully convinced. Chu Gan roared and his manifestation lit up. As a result, countless runes flowed around him, appearing like a set of golden battle robes. With a single punch, the formation shuddered and the void collapsed. A single punch caused countless people to cry out. Those are the Chu family's titan blood runes. How can he condense so many? Luo Su's expression changed. The Luo family had a great deal of information on the Chu family and knew that they had a kind of bloodline divine ability to condense titan blood runes that strengthened their physical bodies. But an ordinary disciple could only condense nine of them, and talented disciples would be able to condense a few dozen perhaps. But Chu Gong had thousands of them. His power had to have reached an unimaginable level. Luo Xue, Luo Qing, and the others' expressions changed. With the support of so many divine runes, who could block this attack? Just at this moment, Chen Feng disdainfully said, To compete with power against my boss, what a dream. Other than wild, who can compete with my boss? Boom. Just as he said this, Chu Gen's fist landed, shaking the martial stage. A fierce astral wind then unfurled. What was unbelievable though was that Long Chen was just standing there with one hand behind his back. He had received Chu Gen's fist with one hand. An ant dares to challenge a dragon, truly laughable, snorted Long Chen. With his hand over Chu Gen's fist, he suddenly pressed him down. Boom. Chu Gen's expression changed. He felt like an entire world was pressing down on him. The martial stage beneath his feet cracked, the cracks spreading in every direction. At that moment, everyone watching their battle was shocked. Wan Qing, Xue, Bing. Ning equals equals pure, snow, ice, condensed, as for Gan Ren Zheng Shuang from a Chu family. How shall I put this? One of the Chinese characters was replaced with a different character for it, but it essentially means fucking people is great. Chapter 3103 Oh The Restimating Oneself Long Chen's divine ring slowly spun. His expression was calm as he met his enemy with a single hand, and yet that hand seemed to cover the entire world's power. Even as runes activated all over Chu Gan and his fist shook the stage, he was completely suppressed by Long Chen's hand. The martial stage cracked, and those cracks continued to spread further and further. The martial stage suddenly grew. It was its own world, and based on the power of the fighters on it, it could grow or shrink. There had already been a few battles during which the martial stage had grown to accommodate the experts fighting. However, it had grown slowly. Due to the power erupting from the fighters, the martial stage would constantly change. However, with this one palm, the martial stage instantly widened many times. This had yet to occur during this nine prefecture convention. The size of the martial stage was related to the power of the fighters on it. There was one thing that could be sure. The greater the martial stage grew, the more pressure it had to be under. This was a very simple way to measure a person's power. You are trying to defeat me in my strongest area by making me laugh to death with this pitiful power? I can't believe you were so shameless as to come out and embarrass yourself? Long Chen looked at Chu Gong oddly. 
During this time, he had been constantly increasing his realm. As his cultivation base grew, his physical body also rapidly strengthened. However, it had been a long time since he last used this power. Long Chen had always been dissatisfied with his physical power. No matter how it increased, it was unable to endure the power of the divine flame power of his 108,000 stars. Even Long Chen himself didn't know just how much stronger his physical body was compared to when he was in the Jilin Immortal Land. Just now, when Chu Gan had come at him so arrogantly, he had really thought that Chu Gan was very powerful, but this attack of his wasn't worth crap. Long Chen didn't know if Chu Gan was deliberately holding back or if he was really this weak. On the other hand, Chu Gan was shocked. He was born with immense divine power. In terms of pure physical power, amongst the Chu family's disciples, he could definitely be rated number one. The number of Titan blood runes that he condensed broke the record for the Chu family's disciples, and this feat made him one of the Chu family's most important successors. This fist, which he had originally thought would be enough to blow Long Chen wretchedly, was like a dragonfly trying to shake a pillar. It appeared incredibly weak. That was just a probing blow. Don't get too pleased so early. Chu Gan held his right shoulder with his left hand, and his runes erupted with power, seemingly ablaze, his blood chi sword. As he unleashed his power, the martial stage began to crumble. The next moment, a giant hole appeared and flying rubble filled the martial stage. Everyone paying attention to this side was stunned. How could a person's power rise to such a level? It had to be known that whether it was Long Chen or Chu Gan, they were purely competing with physical power. They weren't using magical arts or divine abilities, yet were able to unleash such immense power. This was something that many people had never seen before. Chu Gun then roared and a giant vortex of rubble began to fly. At the same time, the martial stage continuously expanded and the rubble whistled loudly. Seeing this, the people outside the arena grew nervous, afraid that the formation would break and the rubble would pierce through them. We are finally seeing real experts. Spending that fortune on this ticket was definitely worth it. Who knows how many people will never get to see a battle on this level in their lifetime. It was definitely worth it. Everyone was holding back before, so watching them wasn't the slightest bit satisfactory. But now, he, the fights will only grow more intense. Countless disciples watching felt their blood heating up. They had precisely come to watch the battles between real experts. Long Chen and Chu Gan's battle was just what they wanted. Heavens, the martial stage is still expanding. The martial stage quickly doubled in size after their first clash. It seemed as if Chu Gan's power was limitless. However, even as they were shocked by Chu Gan's power, they realized that something was off. When the flying rubble slowly settled, they once more saw the two of them in their original posture. Long Chen was still holding Chu Gan back with a single palm, and no matter what Chu Gan did, he was unable to shake Long Chen in the slightest. At the same time, the martial stage beneath Chu Gan's feet was constantly breaking and repairing, breaking and repairing. The martial stage would repair itself after being damaged, and the rate of repair would also increase with the intensity of the battle. Moreover, for the waves of flying rubble to have been reduced meant that the martial stage was strengthening itself. The martial stage had now strengthened itself to the level of being able to endure Chu Gan's power. Heavens, what kind of monster is Long Chen? Everyone's jaw dropped. If they didn't know that Long Chen was the Chu family's mortal enemy, they would think that Chu Gun was cooperating with Long Chen to put on an exaggerated show. His current display was incredible. It was like an adult was bullying a baby. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is mighty. The High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered loudly, to the point that even their voices were hoarse. Although they knew that he couldn't hear them, this was the only way for them to unleash the emotions inside them. How many years had it been since the High Firmament Academy started to be bullied and turned into a joke by other powers? They called the Academy a rotten boat that had lost all the splendor of its former years. Moreover, when the High Firmament Academy's disciples arrived here, they clearly felt disdainful gazes from others. Today, they were finally showing their true power. Seeing those people's shocked gazes, they felt it to be indescribably cathartic. Long Chen still stood there with one hand behind his back, facing Chu Gan expressionlessly. On the other hand, 
Chu Gen's face had already turned purple. Even as he did everything he could to push Long Chen back, he couldn't. It was like he was rooted into the stage. Are you constipated? I wouldn't relieve myself here, said Long Chen kindly. Just like that, Chu Gun coughed up blood, and his overwhelming power was thrown into chaos. The next moment, Long Chen's leg struck like lightning, hitting him in his abdomen. Chu Gun was sent flying. He then smashed into the ground, tumbling back and leaving large holes in the ground before smashing into the barrier and bouncing back. With such a blow, he had to have at least lost half his life. However, unexpectedly, he crawled back up. When people saw a certain object on his body, they became dumbfounded. What is that? Chapter 3104 Did I give you too much face? Long Chen's kick was so powerful that he broke Chu Gan's outer robes, revealing golden protective armor. What was strange about this armor was that it didn't cover his chest and back. Instead, it was protecting his crotch. From a distance, it looked like golden underwear, specialized in protecting the location for creating future generations. It was both shocking and comedic. That underwear possessed shocking divine power. It was actually a treasure item. Treasure items were extremely valuable and precious, but a treasure item in this form was something people had never seen before. The crowd was unaware that due to Chu Gan's immense power, his body had almost no weak points. His only fatal weak point was there. Thus, this pair of underwear was a treasure item specially made for him just in case people learned his weak point. This preparation was truly correct. If he hadn't had it, Long Chen's kick would have crippled his life rod. Even though this preparation had managed to protect his life rod, those dazzling underpants caused the crowd to involuntarily laugh after a moment of shock. Even Long Chen laughed. The world was truly large and filled with marvels. There was even such a treasure item. However, he quickly judged where Chu Gan's weakness lay. Chu Gun was infuriated and hastily took out new robes, covering his treasure. Long Chen, I'll make sure you die a miserable death today. Chu Gun formed ant seals, and divine runes appeared behind him. After that, sacred chanting filled the air. The sound of this chanting seemed to come from a distant past. As the ground rumbled, chains appeared in the air, piercing through the illusory and becoming real. Those chains pierced Chu Gan's body, turning him into a hedgehog. He was stabbed by hundreds of chains. Every single chain caused the wounds on his body to grow brighter. His blood chi also grew explosively, and even his body grew. Those chains seemed to be connected to something providing him with endless energy. As the ground beneath his feet crumbled, strange wounds appeared in his eyes. Overwhelming blood chi then scoured against the heavens. Everyone was shocked. Although his position in other people's minds had dropped because of the fight, his power was truly stunning. Every move he activated was more frightening than the last. Pe realizing that your own power isn't enough, you rely on the outside world's power. These chains condensed to faith energy will have an immense burden on your body unless a huge amount of faith energy is sacrificed, correct? This is a self-damaging skill. These chains might be able to provide you with endless power, but they also give you a fatal weakness. Long Chen shook his head at Chu Gon. Bullshit. I'll show you the destructive power that can be obtained when the Chu family's bloodline abilities are combined with the divine venerates. Chu Gun roared and the runes in his eyes expanded. He was like a blazing sun on the martial stage, his divine light so blinding that people had to turn away. After that, he charged forward, leaving a giant hole in the ground where he stamped down on. He shot at Long Chen like a meteor. What? At this moment, People were shocked to find that the space in front of Chu Gun was twisting. The void was being deformed because of his power. Just what level of power has he reached? His power is compressing the void. If struck by this power, even with a treasure item protecting you, you would still be killed, said one person with a quivering voice. In front of this absolute power, even a treasure item would not be able to protect your life. After all, their realms were too low to fully control treasure items. They might be able to block a portion of this power, but the remaining power would invade their bodies. That was more than enough to smash them to pieces. 
Astral winds unfurled around Chu Gon, resulting in a long ditch in the ground wherever he passed. He appeared completely unstoppable. Try to receive this punch. Chu Gon roared and unleashed another punch. Streaks of light then appeared on his fist, which resulted in space compressing and swelling at the same time. What terrifying power, even young Master Chang Chuan was moved. Boom. Divine light exploded on the martial stage. A giant hole was smashed into the ground. However, shockingly, in the face of this punch, Long Chen only turned his body and easily dodged it just like that. Chu Gun repeatedly punched at him, every blow causing the stage to explode and creating a storm of rubble, but, he was never able to touch Long Chen. This is. People grew dumbfounded, with the hands clasped behind his back, Long Chen was dodging the punches with slight movements, however, Chu Gun was unable to even touch the shadow. I understand. This is the weakness that senior apprentice brother Long Chen mentioned. What is it? Look at how much Chu Gan's body has swelled. His power has grown, but his speed has dropped. This power isn't his own, so he can't control it perfectly. Furthermore, the immense power is causing space to compress. It's like he's moving through water. The greater his power, the greater the resistance. While it looks like Chu Gun has now taken the advantage, in truth, no matter how great his power is, it's useless if he can't even touch his opponent. Other than that, there's no way he can maintain such a state for long. As soon as his aura starts to drop, senior apprentice brother Long Chen will launch a killing blow. For this person to be able to see through the clues so quickly showed that his aptitude was very high. But for Long Chen to be able to tell this weakness even before Chu Gong had attacked, he was many times superior. So this person felt the utmost admiration for Long Chen's vision. As expected of the champion of the Tao discussion convention, he can instantly see through his opponent's weaknesses. After that person's explanation, others also felt even more admiration for Long Chen. In the current state, Long Chen was essentially in an unbeatable position. Such powerful attacks couldn't be maintained for long, and Chu Gun would definitely lose if this continued. Coward, did your father and mother only teach you how to dodge? Roared Chu Gun after failing to even touch Long Chen's sleeves after hundreds of attacks. All of a sudden, Long Chen attacked. A hand covered in dragon scales slammed into Chu Gun's face, sending him smashing into the ground. Did I give you too much face? Long Chen's icy voice resounded through the arena. Boom. Chu Gun smashed into the martial stage, leaving a giant hole in it. This sudden turn had people jumping out of their seats and crying out in shock. Chapter 3105 Treasure Item Bracers Rumbling rang out and Long Chen's divine ring spun rapidly, a wild or caused the world to shake. Long Chen's eruption came so suddenly that people had yet to react. Also, the power that Chu Gun had displayed appeared minuscule in front of him. Chu Gun was slapped deep into the ground. This slap actually completely deformed the martial stage, leaving everyone stunned. They stared in shock at Long Chen. The current Long Chen looked like an anger devil. Standing in the air, he gazed down at Chu Gun. Idiot, I let you live this long to see if you had any worthwhile moves. You dare to be arrogant with that little bit of power? You can't even control this power, and you sacrificed your speed just to unleash it. If you can't even touch your opponent, what's the point? Do you feel that the power you exchanged for your speed is very great? Fine, I'll show you what true power is. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air, and his body suddenly vanished. The place that he had just been collapsed, sending ripples in every direction. Just like that, Long Chen had reached Chu Gon. He was as quick as a bolt of lightning. Chu Gen's head was still spinning from that slap, so he didn't even hear Long Chen's words clearly. He only saw Long Chen charge right in front of him and unleash a kick. He instinctively raised his arms to block it. His arms then glowed, and the mark of an ancient beast appeared on them. The roar of an ancient beast rang out. Boom. Long Chen's foot landed solidly on Chu Gan's arms. As a result, the martial stage shuddered, and the giant hole, which had started to heal due to the martial stage's properties, grew explosively. The sight of this stunned all the other disciples. 
Just being caught up in that wild rubble would probably crush the other heavenly geniuses attending this convention. Some experts instinctively dodged the rubble flying at them, but the rubble shattered and dissipated upon striking the barrier. However, the barrier was constantly quivering due to the impact. It seemed as if it really might break, frightening others Navaloon.com. From the very first Marshall Dow convention until now, even through countless intense battles, never before had they heard of someone capable of shaking the barrier, but Long Chen had done so. The Marshall stage rumbled. Everyone clearly saw Long Chen's foot still stamping on Chu Gan's arms, making Chu Gan continue to sink into the ground. It was as if Long Chen possessed the power of an entire world, and he couldn't be stopped. Chu Gan's sleeves had been destroyed on impact, so everyone could clearly see a pair of golden bracers on his arms. Those bracers had the image of an ancient beast on them, their runes flowed, and the beasts came to life, roaring and emitting their own divine pressure. Those bracers. They're definitely treasure items. How can they have so many treasure items? Seeing those bracers, people cried out in shock and also envy. He had three treasure items all on his own. Chu Gun was truly rich. It had to be known that amongst all the experts attending, 99% of them weren't even qualified to possess a treasure item, let alone three. Even as Chu Gan's treasure items blazed with light and unleashed their divine power, Long Chen's foot was like a mountain pressing down on him. Chu Gun was still forced deeper into the ground. So what if he has treasure items? Long Chen can still crush him barehandedly. That's a real expert, sneered someone. Treasures blinded people, making them jealous. But even with three treasure items, Chu Gun was still being suppressed by Long Chen. Hence, these heavenly geniuses that didn't possess treasure items all felt admiration for Long Chen and disdain for Chu Gan. The martial stage began to slowly sink due to Long Chen's power. It was deforming, stunning the people watching. The High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered crazily. Due to their cheers, countless other experts also joined the ranks of their cheering. All those people essentially lacked treasure items, so they hoped for Long Chen to be able to beat Chu Gan proving with his actions that money wasn't something so amazing, even rich people could be suppressed. In their eyes, using a treasure item to bully others was practically cheating, but due to lacking money, they could only curse those people behind their backs, they couldn't do anything about it. Seeing people use treasure items to suppress others was a sore point to them, hence, for Long Chan to be able to suppress Chu Gon, they instantly chose to cheer him on instead. That was true of the outer spectator stand, as well as the inner spectator stand. Countless people cheered for Long Chen who possessed an indescribable charisma. As for Lu Obing and the others, they only started cheering after they heard everyone else's cheering. To be able to make so many people cheer at once for one person, even within the nine prefecture convention's entire history, was very rare. On the Tao discussion stage, Long Chen had pierced the black curtains fearlessly, winning the admiration of countless experts. He then won the Tao discussion convention, becoming the youngest champion and winning face for countless young disciples. Now, he was showing that he could reach this level with his own power, using it to show that his confidence was not for nothing. This had already caused him to become an idol worshipped by countless young disciples, making him their ultimate goal. Bai Shishi looked at the countless disciples cheering excitedly, she then looked at Long Chen, without realizing it, a faint smile appeared on her face. As for young master Chang Chun, seeing this, he sighed slightly, a somewhat bitter smile appearing on his face. The martial stage was constantly expanding for Long Chen and Chu Gon, it had already reached the limit of their block. Just at this moment, their martial stage merged with the neighboring block, and the two people fighting inside were sent flying by the astral winds. They hacked up blood, almost dying. With the two of them on the edge, they were still almost killed in an instant. Filled with horror, they hastily activated their tablets and escaped. The two of them were truly unlucky. They had practically used their bodies to demonstrate to everyone just how terrifying that battle was. Just like that, they lost their right to continue competing. However, the two of them didn't feel too bad. At the very least, they got to experience just how great the difference between them and true experts was. This way, 
they didn't need to get that experience in the next round when a supreme expert slew them in an instant. Bastard, you are forcing me. Chu Gun roared furiously, his face suddenly twisted, and he spat a mouthful of blood onto his bracers. Touched by his blood, an ominous aura erupted from them. Chapter 3106 Absolute Power The arm bracer shone with divine light, and a strange roar rang out, shaking people's ears, a fierce and wild roar then erupted. Boom! The earth collapsed and Long Chen was sent flying. Long Chen took seven steps in the air before stabilizing, a trace of shock appeared in his eyes. The soul essence of an ancient beast, that's good stuff. Those arm bracers were priceless treasures that had the soul essence of an ancient beast sealed in them, it had even been subdued, and with essence blood, it could be awakened for immense power. Long Chen, these arm bracers are priceless treasures of my Chu family, for you to die in front of them is your glory, face your death, Chu Gen's arms shone as he charged at Long Chen, taking the initiative to counterattack. Long Chen sneered, do you think you can control its power with your weak body? Just like that, Long Chen spread his fingers, that arm became covered in scales and reached for Chu Gan's fist. When the fist and palm collided, the anticipated explosion didn't occur, and there was only a muffled bang. However, Chu Gan's expression completely changed. He was shocked to find that the power of his bracers had vanished like a stone falling into a sea. Long Chen had actually absorbed his power. He tried to pull back, but his fist was caught in Long Chen's hand. Just at that moment, Long Chen's foot landed on his armpit. Ad Chu Gun screamed miserably as Long Chen crushed his bones and forcibly tore off his arm. What? This sudden change caused everyone to jump, just as they thought that Chu Gan's activated treasure items would put Long Chen at a disadvantage, Long Chen managed to land a heavy blow. Long Chen's power is absolutely terrifying. He's actually able to absorb Chu Gan's power and reverse it on him said Luo Xue, her face covered in shock. She had clearly sensed that when Long Chen's foot landed, it contained Chu Gan's aura within it. In martial study, borrowing power to attack was a very common sight, but the absolute majority of cases of this involved borrowing natural power, or perhaps using special objects like treasure items to temporarily store the power. Relying on your own power to reverse your opponent's power was very rare because such a thing required your own power to be several times greater in order to not be deathly dangerous, otherwise, the slightest slip would cause your opponent's power to explode within your own body. However, Long Chen easily reversed his opponent's power, that calm and ease with which he did this shocked her, just how much power did Long Chen have in his body, he was able to endure that power easily. It wasn't just Luo Shua who saw the clues, many peak experts also saw just how crazy this was and it was precisely due to this that they were so shocked. This fellow really is a monster, even Bai Shishi was shaken, clearly, Long Chen didn't want to use his own power because he didn't want to expose his abilities, which was why he had borrowed his opponent's power. After tearing off Chu Gan's arm, he tossed it into the primal chaos space, as quick as lightning, his palm reached for Chu Gan's head. Having just lost an arm, Chu Gan was filled with pain. In the face of Long Chen's killing blow, he instinctively raised his other arm to block. As a result, this arm was also ripped off. Long Chen's voice was like violent thunder as he ripped it off. Chu Gan's physical body was tough, but compared to Long Chen's, there was a definite difference. That was especially true after Chu Gan had just lost an arm. His scattered blood chi resulted in his defensive power sharply dropping, so it hadn't required much effort to rip off his other arm. Nice, Long Chen tossed this arm into the primal chaos space as well. Just like that, he had obtained two treasure items, he was a bit moved inside. With his other arm torn off, Chu Gun felt terror. There was no way for him to condense new arms in a short time. Without his hands, he couldn't activate his tablet to even admit defeat. Long Chen once more reached out for Chu Gan's head. 
After obtaining his bracers, Long Chen no longer had any use for Chu Gon. Although those underpants might be a treasure item, he wasn't interested in them. Long Chen's palm slammed into Chu Gan's head, but just at that moment, divine light erupted above the head. Long Chen's palm ended up smashing into that divine light, shattering it. However, when the divine light shattered, his palm landed on nothing more than air. Chu Gun had vanished. Long Chen was startled. Chu Gun had lost both of his arms, and his aura was in chaos. There was no way he could activate a magical art or divine ability so quickly in that situation. Long Chen then looked around. The martial stage had returned to its original appearance. In other words, Chu Gun had admitted defeat and the match was over. This sudden change caught even Long Chen off guard, so he remained in this posture for a long time. The crowd was silent. Just as they thought that Chu Gun was about to be slain, such a change had occurred. This result made no sense to them. Long Chen was sent out just then, and people immediately burst into a discussion. Luo Shua asked him, what happened? He didn't have the power to activate his tablet at that time. They had thought that Long Chen had ripped off Chu Gan's arms to make sure the latter couldn't admit defeat. In truth, Long Chen was more interested in the arm bracers. If Chu Gan was killed, his things would be sent out along with his corpse. Even if he died without a corpse, his things would be returned. In any case, he had lost his arms. It made no sense for him to be able to still escape. Furthermore, the divine light that had appeared in that last moment to protect him was also inexplicable. Long Chen muttered to himself for a moment before looking at Luo Qing. Miss Luo Qing, you should directly admit defeat for your battle with Chu Zhen. What? Everyone was startled. Luo Xue, Luo Qing, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning in particular didn't believe their ears. How could the Luo family's disciples admit defeat to the Chu family's disciples? Did you notice something? In the end, it was Luo Xue who was the steadiest and asked the important question. Long Chen nodded. If my guess is correct, those four fellows of the Chu family have a strange method of combining forces that isn't restricted by the martial stages formation. Just now, Chu Gun was saved by them. But, how is that possible? People stared at him in disbelief. Navaloon.com Chapter 3107 The Chu Family's Sinister Play They truly possessed that kind of power. Just now, when I shattered that protective divine light, I sensed three kinds of energy, but they were not from the same source as Chu Gan's power. That's why I'm sure that the four of them have a strange technique to borrow each other's power. However, I don't know if their power is the same as myself and Zaidol's and can be directly activated through the formation. There's also the possibility that Silver Moon City already set this up in advance for them to use their technique, telling them the secrets of the formation so that they could cheat, said Long Chen. Just now, he had sensed something off. Just as he should be able to easily kill Chu Gon, his attack missed. Thinking back, he found that the Chu family really was slippery. According to the Chu family's style, they would always set up a scheme in advance. In that case, it made sense for the Chu family to have set this up, so that the four of them could share their power. If they really had that ability, why didn't they use it earlier? Why wait until Chu Gan was about to die? Asked Lu Mingxuan. One reason is because they had confidence that Chu Gan would have enough power to protect himself. The other reason is that I didn't give them enough time. By the time that they realized that he wouldn't be enough on his own, they had no time. It must take some time for them to activate their combination technique, so when they realized I was about to kill Chu Gon, they only had time to barely save his life but were unable to turn the tides. The other thing is that this is their killing blow. It might even be for obtaining the champion spot. Just think about it. If all their power merged together at a critical moment, it would be enough to completely change a fight, said Long Chen. Luo Xue nodded, your assessment is accurate. With our understanding of the Chu family, doing such a thing is definitely in line with the Chu family's style. They really are sinister. Do they think they can take the champion spot like this? Snorted by Shishi. That's just one of their wishes. Killing the Luo family's experts is their primary goal. So I want Miss Luo Cheng to abandon her match because of this. 
I almost killed Chu Gon, causing them to lose face. They will definitely do everything they can to kill you in the upcoming battle. If it was a one against one and we lost, we could only say that we were weaker. But for it to be four against one, it's definitely not worth it, said Long Chen. Luo Ching smiled slightly. Many thanks, I understand. I'll listen to senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Before this explanation, she couldn't just give up her match. She had to fight for the Luo family's dignity, and even if she died a hundred times for the Luo family, she would do so without regrets. But it was different after the explanation. Seeing that she agreed, Long Chen was at ease. The Luo family viewed their family's glory as more important than their own lives, so he had been afraid of her being stubborn. Don't worry, the Chu family's people are nothing more than shameless clowns. Putting them in their place is nothing more than a matter of time. There's no need to rush, comforted Long Chen. It was quickly Luo Qing's turn to fight, but she directly admitted defeat, leaving countless spectators stunned. Considering the Luo family and the Chu family's relationship, such a thing was bizarre. That was especially true at the Nine Prefecture Convention, with everyone hoping for the tough opponents to fight each other so that they could gain information on them. Every competitor that had reached this point had information on them, so Luo Qing's actions were particularly strange for the spectators. In any case, it infuriated the Chu family, just as Long Chen had said, Chu Gen's defeat had resulted in them switching targets to Luo Qing. However, just as they prepared to crush her, all their preparations went to waste. The Chu family's people immediately started saying provoking things, but Long Chen and the others ignored them. The others quickly went through their own matches. Everyone else passed smoothly, but Lu Mingxuan's luck was bad. She encountered a very powerful opponent, and no matter how she fought, she was unable to beat him. Her opponent had mercy, and Lu Mingxuan could only admit defeat. Seeing her being silent upon returning, Luo Bing and Luo Ning hastily tried to comfort her. Luo Mingxuan had only come to play around, and she had no intentions of getting a ranking. Hence, after a while of gloom, she returned to her normal self. Just at this moment, their tablets lit up once more. They had entered the top 500. Today's competition ended here for them. However, there were still a few more matches to fight. A total of 512 competitors were going to move on to the next round. Long Chen and the others were sent through since they had obtained the recognition of the martial stage, but some of the competitors still needed to continue fighting for a spot in the top 500. Right now, on Long Chen's side, there were only Long Chen, Bai Shishi, Bai Xiaol, Young Master Chan Chuan, and Luo Xue. The others had already been eliminated. However, other than Luo Qing, this was within expectation. After all, these experts were truly powerful. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qing and the others had all been mentally prepared for this. Moreover, the results that they had gained were already very satisfactory. They had come here not for the rewards but for the experience. Having entered the top 500, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to watch the remaining fights. He directly returned to his residence. As for Bai Shishi and the others, they remained to watch. After all, everyone still remaining in the competition was an expert. Every bit they watched was a bit more experience. Right now, Long Chen was in his room alone and continued studying the world extermination lightning radiance and the three flower pupils. He hadn't even finished studying his own moves, so why would he go studying other people's moves during the competition? His battle with Chu Gon today could count as a warm-up. With the support of his divine ring and the full power of his physical body, things still went very smoothly. He had only used a portion of his dragon scales to suppress his opponent, and this gave him greater confidence. However, he had to obtain the golden dragon scale. Since there would no longer be any weaklings amongst the remaining competitors, he would have to face them with his full power. There couldn't be any accidents. Only by obtaining the Golden Dragon Scale could he raise the power of his physical body to the point that he could freely unleash the power of his Divine Flames. Having all this power but being unable to unleash it was truly stifling. As he studied the World Extermination Lightning Radiance and the Three Flower Pupils, he also studied something else. Ever since he had ascended to the Immortal World, he had also been studying the Nine Forms of Split the Heavens. 
This technique that had saved him from crisis countless times in the mortal world could no longer be used in the immortal world. The two worlds possessed completely different laws. The martial heaven continent's laws were incomplete, so it was easy for him to unleash the will to split the heavens Novaloon.com. However, the immortal world's laws were different. They refused to allow such a will to exist. Long Chen had tried it countless times, only to be injured countless times by the backlash. But he refused to give up. Recently, he had read an ancient tome in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. With it, he had come up with several possibilities and was currently trying them out. If he could unleash the nine forms of split the heavens in the immortal world, perhaps the old man would be able to laugh in the nine springs. The nine forms of split the heavens were not just a battle skill to Long Chen. To him, this technique was a memory that he couldn't bear to part with. The next day, everyone gathered again. Long Chen had just arrived when countless sharp gazes turned on him. Chapter 3108 Terrifying Fatty Today's spectator stands had changed again. Originally, there was a formation blocking off those spectators. But today, that formation was removed, and everyone was able to see everything clearly. It was precisely due to this that Long Chen's arrival resulted in countless cases. The fight between Long Chen and Chu Gon was the most marvelous one during this nine prefecture convention. Hence, Long Chen's fame had spread far and wide. Yesterday's battle also showed that Long Chen was different from the past instructors that had participated in the Dao discussion convention. He was not someone who only knew battle strategies on paper but also possessed the necessary power. Because of it, Long Chen's arrival caused a large stir. Countless people waved and cheered for him. Amongst them were many women. However, what drew Long Chen's attention the most wasn't those cheers but those sharp gazes full of hostility. In particular, Long Chen saw four people. He, they were precisely the Chu family's four heroes, Chu Gon, Chu Ren, Chu Jin, and Chu Shuang. Chu Gen's arms had been restored, but his face was still pale white. Clearly, healing from his wounds wasn't so simple. Long Chen had given him wounds that would probably require a longer time to heal. Anger ignited in their eyes as soon as they saw Long Chen, their killing intent was not hidden in the slightest. Do those four idiots not know that their deaths are at hand? sneered Chin Feng. They're doing it on purpose to show just how stupid they are. That way, it covers up their sinister schemes. It makes us overlook what they're doing behind the scenes, said Long Chen indifferently, Novaloon.com. Then they really are naive, said Chin Feng. How smart do you think that they are? They're still praying that I won't notice their plan. They must be feeling uneasy since Miss Luo Cheng abandoned her match yesterday. However, they still think that their movements are flawless and shouldn't have been seen through. So they have to keep up this show. That's why I said that they're shameless clowns. Being put in their place is only a matter of time. Just let them act arrogant for a while, said Long Chen. Long Chen then looked around and saw quite a few unfriendly faces. In one distant corner, Long Chen saw a cloaked figure, and he slowly smiled. Just as he saw this person, that person sensed it and looked back. Long Chen was a bit surprised that this person wasn't wearing a mask. Furthermore, he was different from the ordinary assassins of the Blood Gill Hall. Most of those assassins were rather lean, but this person was a bit fat, and his eyes were small. Just from his exterior, he seemed like a harmless fatty that wouldn't harm a fly. If Long Chen couldn't sense the specific aura of the Blood Gill Hall from his body, he really wouldn't have been able to tell that this unremarkable fatty was that final disciple of the killing god, in Puta. He was Ji Yui Yun whose name struck others with terror. Ji Yui Yun narrowed his eyes slightly when he looked at Long Chen, his already small eyes instantly became slits. Just then, Long Chen felt a slight change in the space around him. It was as if countless eyes were looking at him from different angles, as if all his secrets were being exposed. It was a very uncomfortable feeling. Interesting, as expected of Imputa's disciple, his visual piercing arts have reached a perfect level. Long Chen nodded. This Gui Yun had not disappointed him. Just then, Luo Bing and the other's expressions changed. Long Chen. It's fine. 
It would be strange if Imputa's disciple didn't have this little bit of ability. But, said Luo Ning hastily. Long Chen interrupted her, I said it's fine, even if he could look through your memories, there wouldn't be any need to be so nervous. He knew that their expressions had changed because just now, it felt like they had gone through a soul sark, it was as if all their secrets had been looked through. They finally sensed just how terrifying this seemingly ordinary fatty was, just a single gaze from him could expose all their secrets, they couldn't even muster up the courage to attack. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu King Gaiyan, and the others were pale, the feeling of having their soul searched was truly unbearable. Your inner hearts aren't tough enough, assassins like to play games the most, even if he could look through your souls, do you know just how much he saw? How do you know he was not intentionally trying to scare you, if you meet someone on par with you but a single gaze from him causes you to overthink everything, you will be easily killed, no matter what time it is, you must maintain a steady heart, even in the face of death, you must have absolute calm in front of it, fear and panic will only cause you to lose your last chance of surviving, said Long Chen. Don't give off a weak display, let him see us laughing and joking, with boss present. There's nothing to fear, said Chen Feng. Although Chen Feng also felt as if his soul had been looked through, he didn't rest his mind on it. With Long Chen present, there was nothing for him to worry about. In any case, it had to be said that Ji Yui Yun was truly terrifying. A single gaze from him could terrify others. Furthermore, Long Chen also hadn't expected Ji Yui Yun's ability to see through others to have reached such a level. Although Ji Yui Yun wasn't able to see through his secrets, the power of his physical body, his blood, and his bones couldn't possibly have escaped this examination. Ji Yui Yun had definitely managed to get a rough estimate of Long Chen's overall power. This was a fundamental technique for an assassin, but for Ji Yui Yun to have reached such a perfect level in this technique was truly shocking. Compared to Luo Bing and the others, Bai Shishi, young master Chan Chuan, Luo Xue, and Bai Ziao were a bit better off, although they also felt like they had been scanned, they didn't feel that kind of intense danger, they all had confidence that others couldn't see through their secrets. As for Bai Ziao, he was so simple-minded that he wasn't afraid of others peering through his secrets, they could look for all he cared, he had such absolute confidence in his three flower pupils that he was thinking the same thing as Chin Feng, as long as he was with Long Chen, he didn't care about the rest. Long Chen, look at that person, that is the Ku Wuaya of the corpse devil Dao, he's also looking at us, whispered Bai Shishi. Long Chen followed her gaze and quickly noticed a large figure. What a terrifying physical body. Chapter 3109 Strange Woman when Long Chen saw this person, the first thing he thought of was wild. Ku cool Wuaya's body was so tall that even seated, he was taller than someone standing. His head was barren of any hair, and he had wide shoulders and a thick back. Moreover, his arms were thicker than a normal person's waist, and his large head was nestled between his shoulders. It was almost impossible to see a neck. It wasn't fat but the opposite. It was impossible to see any fat beneath his skin. The reason his neck couldn't be seen was because his shoulder muscles bulged to the point that even his neck was covered up. He sat there alone, and no one else dared to get close to him. It was as if everyone was afraid of him. Furthermore, a faint layer of mist curled around him, giving off a scent of decay and death. This was the corpse devil Deo's cultivator, Kuyuya. He was sitting there, a pair of crocodile-like eyes staring at long chen like lanterns in the darkness. This fellow is very powerful. Long Chen, you have to be careful, whispered young master Cheng Chuan. He had previously exchanged blows with this person. His current aura is even stronger than when I encountered him. It's also deeper. His cultivation base has clearly advanced again in this short time. Just at this moment, Ku Wuaya suddenly smiled at Long Chen, revealing a row of black teeth. Everyone, including Bai Shishi, felt a chill. The rumor was that Ku Wuaya consumed corpses to cultivate, those black teeth immediately made them nauseous. Other than Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuaya, quite a few other people were looking at Long Chen coldly, those were peak experts overflowing with hostility, 
but Long Chen ignored them. Only 512 competitors remained. There were men and women amongst them, but two women in particular attracted Long Chen's interest. One of them was a veiled woman with a zither in her embrace as she meditated. Her veil covered her face, yet she still exuded a sacred and holy aura. Long Chen's heart pounded because he instantly thought of Xi'an. The two were quite similar. When Long Chen looked at her, that woman slowly opened her eyes and nodded amicably to Long Chen, before closing her eyes once more. Hey, even all of us beauties aren't enough for you, you're going to flirt with others, grumbled Liu Mingxuan. Long Chen almost coughed up blood, what did she mean by enough for him? She really was dirty. Luo Xue and the others were blushing and glared at Liu Mingxuan. Bai Shishi even reached out to grab her, only for her to laugh and run off. Don't mess around, she just makes me think of one of my lovers, said Long Chen. She should be from the Zither sect, one of the four immemorial sects. Their foundation is shockingly deep, and they use the music Tao to peer into the heavenly Deos. Their mental realms are very profound. But the Zither sex doesn't compete with the rest of the world, so I didn't expect one of them to appear here to compete for the treasures, said Luo Xue. Upon hearing that, Long Chen's heart shook. When he and Ziyan met, Ziyan had been roaming the world in order to find the true essence of life and comprehend the heavenly deos. Was this girl doing the same thing? Ziyan had ascended with everyone else. If she continued to cultivate, wouldn't she also choose to cultivate the music Tao? Would she have gone to the Zither sect? If she had, then with her comprehension of the music Tao, she would definitely be a rising star in the sect perhaps this girl would know about her. Thinking of this, he was moved, he had an urge to meet her. Long Chen, have you seen that woman? That figure really is fiery. My own mouth is getting wet just by looking at her, said Lu Mingxuan, pulling his gaze. Long Chen had naturally seen that girl as well. She was the most conspicuous of all these experts. Compared to ordinary female cultivators, she wore a completely different outfit. Her skirt was short, and her upper garment only covered her chest. So, her legs and waist were fully exposed. To make things better, she was gracefully curvaceous, with perfect proportions. She stood there barefooted, her hair falling loosely to her waist. She was like an elf that had walked out of a forest, yet she also possessed a bewitching charm that made it seem like she could steal a person's soul. She's very beautiful, said Bai Shishi as well. If you took off your clothes, you would definitely be more beautiful than her. As soon as he said this, he sensed danger and took a step back, barely dodging Bai Shishi's hand. Don't take a joke so seriously, coughed Long Chen. Bai Shishi glared at him for a moment before ignoring him and continuing to examine the surrounding experts. Long Chen, what do you think about that woman? Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm talking seriously, said Lu Mingxuan. Her body is one with the Tao. Every single one of her movements contains Tao charm. I've never seen such an expert before, said Long Chen after a moment's thought. This woman was very strange. Every single one of her movements seemed to contain the mystery of heavenly deos. It was completely impenetrable. Other than those two women, he also sensed many other experts that shook him. Every single one of them was a powerful expert in their own right. After the elimination rounds, the remaining competitors were all top experts. However, amongst them were many people with dense killing intent toward him. He knew that those people viewed him as a target to kill since he had broken the nine prefecture convention's unspoken rules. In other words, the powers behind these experts were those that had benefited from the nine prefecture convention. He had ruined one of their money-making schemes. Not only did they glare at him, but some even made insulting gestures. Because of this, Chen Feng's own killing intent grew. He snorted. These idiots don't know that if the Dragon Blood Legion's members were here, we turn them into a mountain of corpses. Bai Shishi and the others' hearts shook. Chin Feng was just an ordinary Dragon Blood warrior, but he possessed such daring. Hence, they grew even more curious as to what kind of people the Dragon Blood Legion was for Chin Feng to dare to say such a thing. Long Chen's own fury rose, seeing these people gesturing at him, his killing intent ignited. Unable to suppress it, he announced, I, Boss Long San, will make myself clear. In this nine prefecture convention, those who follow me will prosper, 
and those who defy me will lie. If you disagree, you can come at me together. It's no problem. However many that come is however many this boss long sand kills. An uproar erupted as soon as he said this, with countless people staring at him in disbelief. Had he gone insane? Chapter 3110 The Influence of the Purgatory Eyes Long Chen Bai Shishi and the others were also startled. Just what was Long Chen doing? Why was he challenging everyone? Long Chen waved his hand, indicating for them to not speak. He wasn't being impetuous. It was the opposite. His mind was clear. He also knew where his anger was coming from. This boundless killing intent came from his purgatory eyes. He didn't know if it was due to researching the three flower pupils and constantly touching the power of the purgatory eyes, but they were growing increasingly active. Hence, he was growing more and more explosive. Those people's provoking gazes and insulting actions made him think of the various bullying that he had suffered from as a child. He felt that if he didn't unleash the power of his purgatory eyes, he would go insane. He knew that he couldn't restrain himself any longer. That would only make the purgatory eyes even more berserk, quickening the growth of that dark energy. Swallowing his anger was what nourished that dark energy. Since that was the case, he would make himself clear. Those that wanted his life could come as they pleased. What he needed was a reason to kill them. His words caused huge waves. Countless people were shocked by this wild arrogance, and they were provoked. Long Chen you're nothing more than a disciple from a fallen sect. It's 10,000 years too early for you to run wild here. Idiot, when the time comes, you won't even know how you die. What right do you have to be arrogant? Let alone you, even if it was your entire high firmament academy, if you angered us, your entire sect would be raised. Do you want the high firmament academy to be surrounded by enemies? Countless curses rang out. However, only a small portion of them realized that there were also disdainful gazes cast toward them. Other than the top 512, everyone else had been eliminated from the competition. Those people were now nothing more than spectators. If someone was wild and arrogant, it had nothing to do with them. At this time, the ones cursing him were clearly the ones profiting from the Nine Prefecture Convention. They had essentially exposed their own sex by cursing him. Hence, those people fell silent. They had just announced to everyone that they were part of the cheaters of every nine prefecture convention. Boss San, we support you. Kill these shameless dogs. They deserve death. That's right. Experts should be straightforward. If you encounter a god, slay gods. If you encounter a devil, slay devils. There is no soft-heartedness on the path of cultivation. Experts must be domineering. You idiots who cursed Boss San, what qualifications do you have to curse him? You don't like his arrogance? Then why don't you get the champion spot for the Tao Discussion Convention and get into the top 500? You simply lack skill, so you can only shout as proof of your own existence. If it weren't for the convention's rules protecting you, Boss San would kill you all with a slap. Once those people fell silent, other voices rose. After all, by exposing the dark curtains of the Nine Prefecture Convention, Long Chen had helped 99% of the competitors. They got to have a fair fight. Furthermore, Long Chen's fearless charisma deeply touched these young people. With a few people taking the lead, they immediately started a torrent of curses on those people as if they hoped to drown them with their saliva. Long Chen also hadn't expected his arrogant words to draw out so much support. Just at this moment, the lots were drawn again to find out who was fighting who. Everyone had to stop cursing. Long Chen and the others' tablets lit up, the names of their opponents appearing. Long Chen didn't recognize the name of his opponent, but when Bai Xiao saw the name that he had drawn, he wailed. Boss. Everyone looked, only to see that it was Chu Ren. Bai Xiao was matched up against Chu Ren. Luo Qing had listened to Long Chen's advice and admitted defeat against him. Hence, Bai Xiao was aggrieved to run into him as well. It's fine. When it's your turn, directly activate the three flower pupils and unleash your three flowers condense, triple assault, and there's an 80% chance that you'll kill him in one blow, consoled Long Chen. Really? asked Bai Xiao. 
Long Chen smiled. Little fellow, you're lacking confidence. You don't know just how terrifying the three flower pupils are. Those four fellows from the Chu family's strongest point isn't their own power, it's their combination technique. But that's cheating, and so they can't make it too obvious. If you were to instantly start off with a killing blow, Chu Ren definitely won't be able to use that combination technique. Even if you don't kill him with the first move, you will definitely injure him, and then you'll have complete control over the fight. There's no need to fear him. By the time the second attack lands, he will essentially be crippled. However, such an explosive start will definitely cause some harm to the three flower pupils. After beating Chu Ren, you will be unable to use them again for a short time. But now that every fight occurs one after another, there's enough time for you to rest before your next fight. The initial goal of the Nine Prefecture Convention was to give the young disciples a chance to interact. These battles were now held one by one so that everyone could watch every single battle, gaining experience. This stage to decide the top 256 would take three days, so there was no need to worry about missing anything. Hearing Long Chen's words, Bai Xiaol inflated with confidence. He even stuck his thumb down at Chu Ren. Will Xiaol be all right? Are you sure? whispered Bai Shishi. Long Chen looked at her. This pretty girl actually did care about her little brother. Don't worry, a combination technique requires time. It might be effective against others but not Xiaol. I've also factored in the backlash. It will be no problem. Only then was Bai Shishi at ease. He checked her tablet and saw another foreign name. After checking with young master Chan Chuan and Luo Xue, they also didn't end up matched against their enemies. Just at this moment, Long Chen's tablet began to flash. Unexpectedly, he was the very first one up in this round of 512. 